So uh, you build this business up, uh, David, it's a, you know, quite a substantial outfit now. Yeah, it was bigger at one time. Oh, was it? Yeah. Right. Well, we had more people here yeah, then. We were doing a lot of aftermarket parts. Right, so what is the main thrust of your business now? Um, Purely performance camshafts for road rallying, race camshafts, out of production camshafts like Triumph TR60s, 4s and things like that, MGBs, um, and then in smaller amounts, um, the sort of prestige aftermarket ones like Bugatti's, Bentley, Rolls, Ferrari, AC, uh, Armstrong, Sidley, Riley, um, can sort of keep going. Well, there's a vast range of old motor cars now yeah, being yeah. restored and, yes. and run, yeah. so I guess so we, there's we plenty of work there, but uh, Plus some small fact. quantities, presumably. Yes, small volumes. Uh, we did some Formula One stuff a couple of years ago, Victoria, indirectly. So, what is your sort of minimum order? One. What, right. You can't get much smaller than that. No, we'll do one, we'll do it. Yeah. That's very useful to know because there's quite a lot of people running unusual motor cars where they're doing the restoration maybe and the camshaft is uh, badly corroded or damaged or yeah. all sorts of things. No, we get plenty of them. And you'll do the, the cam followers and grind the gears on and all the rest of the things. That uh, gear cutting, we send out the local gear cutters and we don't get involved in gear cutting. You seem to have uh, a significant investment in machinery here. Yeah. And um, I guess there's nothing much you can't do in the camshaft department. Yeah, when it comes to camshaft, yeah, I don't think, don't think there's much we can't do. Yeah, with modern technology, everything's computerised. But that must make life quite a lot easier instead of having to have uh, camshaft blanks on, the, on, a, on a cam following machine. Yeah, oh, much, much, much. Um, but you can, what you produce is uh, a million miles more accurate than you ever go on a hand bank. It's only when you go back on operating, you know, a manual machine, you stand there and you think, oh, you know, <laughs> there are so many variables. Like and presumably you do the cam followers. I think I saw some in the production line there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we do cam followers. Plenty of cam followers. Mm -hmm. Which need as much accuracy as the cams yeah. themselves, of course. Exactly the same, yeah. same thing. Yeah, we can go from just a basic ordinary cam follow the work and you start lapping them and then you can go to super finishing and after super finishing go super finishing to DLC coating if you can go that far. And do you do um, your own camshaft designs or do you rely on people no, supplying? I used to do all the design work, now I've slung it over to Ken now and he does it. She's baby, I haven't designed a camshaft for ages now. I've even got the original plate of how we used to do it. Forty years ago, there was, wasn't any software. Used to put it on there and get the French curves out. <laughs> so did you have to write your own software? No, fortunately, um, there's someone over in America. Um, we found it, someone came up with some good, good data from figures that went straight in and there was no lumps, bumps or anything else. We said, oh, where did it come from? We said, oh, Andrew's in America. And we've used that ever since. Just know that the uh, English um, cottage industry is, uh, is still in the forefront. Well, we're still here. So you can't make a race engine without a camshaft. Yeah. And that's it.